Hi Beatles friends, this is Galeasso Frudo again and we are here for another lesson on how to play the Beatles like the record and uh, this one is about the uh, very famous piano part of the Beatles discography, the one with Paul played in Hey Jude, the single of the uh, 68. We will go through every detail of each note that Paul will play, so you will be perfectly able to perfectly reproduce this one if you want to cover this one alone or play along with your friends. This is the piano part of Hey Jude for you. So a few notes before we start into the uh, details of this. Um, hey Jude is played in the key of F, so this one. And, uh, we have uh, the whole song uh, played in this with this cadence, you know. So you put your, you know, the octave here with your left hand. You play the chords that I will show you later on, and this is how you know the whole song cadence works. So you put your octave here. You play both the notes, and then you go up. I uh, go. You go on with your thumb here. This way. Let's start with the verse. I will play the whole verse and then I will go into the details of each single chord. So, starting from the uh, first chord is Hey simple so you have a first chord is an F so you play this one by pressing the F the A and the C so the note that sings is this uh, C not the F the C don't make it but you go to the uh, C down with the octave and the uh, C is made by playing the E G and C and then you have the passage now you have to put some you know, push on this one, some, you know, emphasis on this one, so let me show you how. This is very important if you want to recreate the effect that Paul plays in the record. So, um, this is made by playing... And, uh, so, slower. Is... Uh, finger up to the F here and make it better you go back to the F as before so the F is again made by playing the F, A and C um, and then to the B flat uh, made by playing you go up here with the octave and the B flat is made by playing the F, B flat and the D remember to it your heart back to the F just like before this note, this one, I don't know why, but it, it, it did that, and then back to the uh, C, again made by playing E, G and uh, C, to make it better, and again to the F uh, of initial uh, chord, F, A and uh, C. That is a passage that goes, that introduces the, and any time you feel the pain part, that uh, is very simple. So, it Paul plays like this. And this one is made by playing this notes. So, the F is made by playing the A, C and F, and then you go down from the F to the E with your two fingers here and then again down from the E to the E flat here okay and then there is uh, the ritornello now when, when Paul goes into then in and any time you feel the pain part we are going to discover some very interesting you know uh, arrangement this kind of one shot arrangement that uh, we have you know Thought we find in the 60s uh, pieces, but we have totally lost in the you know plastic produce era 
uh, of today, you know. Uh, so this is what he plays. Let me show you. Then I will go into the details. <coughs> the chords. So the first one is a B flat. This time is made by um, playing a B flat, a D and an F <coughs> and with the lows the octave here. When it goes down from the B flat to the A with the low, uh, the lows and here it plays a D minor. So A, D and F. Then with his left hand down from the A to the G and this, this way and with his right hand he plays this chord G, B flat, D and F, then from the G to the F with the lows and the same thing on the right hand, so from this chord to this one which is F, B flat, D and F again, and then something strange happens but very interesting, Paul has to go to the C here but it doesn't go, you know, he goes to the C with the right hand by playing G, C and E, uh, but with his left hand, it, before it goes to the, to the C, it passes from the E, then it goes to the low C here, and then another interesting thing happens, uh, check, check out what happens here, and it goes to the F, this F here made by playing um, A, C and F, he stops playing after the first beat, this, this chord, he stays on the low alone here, so when it comes the time to play this one, is this one is in first, in pole position, you know. And then there is the final part of the ritornello, the one that introduces the next uh, verse, the famous one that goes, you know, with, Very simple as well, so it goes like this, you have you start with an F, the F is made by playing um, an A, a C and an F, and you do like this. So and then you have this you know kind of a bluesy passage. simple this way and then again hey Jude um, this for the for well you know that is a full ritonella for the last one which is and uh, don't you know and don't you know that it's just you all this passage is done uh, it's played one octave uh, over so This way. Finally, we have to cover the cue part. So, Paul is coming from the last verse, uh, and then you can start here, and you can start to make it better, 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 The chords are very simple. You go, you you are coming from the C of the, um, the verse. You make it better, better. And the chord is uh, the F of the beginning of the song. So uh, F A and C. And when it comes to the part, bah, 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 this last song, which is an F, uh, it does like this. And then again, when it starts over, he plays the F with this blues. Uh, figure here. Yes, is F is again a uh, F uh, made by F uh, A and, and C, and then it goes down to a uh, E flat. The E flat is made by playing the octave here, and then you have uh, on the right hand uh, E flat, G and B flat, and then up to the B flat chord of uh, the verse. So uh, F B flat and uh, D.
Let me now show you how I use the sustain pedal of a piano during the song. the whole uh, Hey Jude part in the 68 the single of Hey Jude. So I hope you enjoyed this one, it's a very nice tune and next time um, we will cover all the backing vocals and the harmonies of this song with the guys. So thanks a lot for staying with me, enjoy this one, sing it along with friends and uh, see you next time. Ciao, bye! So the days of you, the Since I lost you, it feels like it is. Yes, it seems so.